guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about a topic that has been on everybody's mind for a very long time. It's been something I've been asking and pleading with the community managers and developers at DH Game for Idle Heroes, and it's something that we still haven't had, and I get a little mad because something newer in the game with Destiny Transition has just this. Why it couldn't be implemented for the tree either. I don't know, and I'm going to talk to you guys about that right now because some people are always confused about, well, I made a mistake, I built this hero, now I can't actually regress the hero or swap the hero or whatever, or I should say, I can't swap the hero, remove the power. It makes changing things on your account go from something that would take five minutes to do to literally sometimes almost half an hour to reset up your account. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I love to hear your guys feedback in the comments down below. If you guys leave some good constructive feedback and potentially whether you agree with what I say in the rest of this video or disagree, leave some constructive feedback and we're going to pass it on to DH games. Get going. <laughs> So if you guys are anywhere in the later game of the, of, the, of the game, of the later game of the game, yeah, I guess that makes sense. If you're in the later game of the game, you guys will know that once you get these really awesome, cool looking red stars on the heroes, it becomes very difficult to change anything on your account. Uh, not only do you have to take the time to remove all these heroes with these little blue crowns on, or crowns, helmets, I guess we'll go with helmets on because they are tenants for some hero, which automatically means you can't negatively affect a hero you can positively affect any hero that's in these tenant slots uh you can give them more power like this on kirimaru we can actually come in here and if we have the resources or even this doom terminator vulcan we can come into the tree and we can actually give them more resources to see if we can continue upgrading them you can however remove the resources so your first step if you did even have to change anything you'd have to come in here and luckily you don't have to move the actual main person up here because that would cost you a thousand gems but simply removing them from here is not that difficult of a task the part that becomes difficult is once you have a hero that has any amount of tree of origin you cannot do anything with this hero you can't reclaim this because uh, i know a lot of you guys probably realize that when you have void imprints there's this little button here that again when you're not a tenant for a cloud island it costs what 500 gems and you can get back all of your stellar shards and put it on somebody else that's a really cool feature to have because you seamlessly need to change it and there is a cost associated with it gems now gems are a lot more readily available than the other resource we're going to talk about but ever since Tree of Origin came out, once you put even, not even a single point into the tree, once you unlock the tree, you essentially lock that hero in, and the only way to actually get rid of it is to regress the hero. So, like, here's a perfect example right here. We can just reset all of this for very inexpensive on this Asmodel. That is perfect. That's what we like to see. Uh, you can see a lot of our other tenants have V3 Plus and such, uh, but... The second you unlock the tree, that's where the issue comes into play. I wouldn't be annoyed at this topic if they didn't do something in the future patch here. So essentially what you need to do, if you want to get rid of any of these heroes, either number one, luckily you can just, you know, convert and or regress a normal hero. However, if we're talking about a transcendence hero, what you have to do is you have to come into the gate in the void, go to the evolution cube and do one of two things, either regress the hero, which really, really sucks because you have, you basically lose the stones that are attached to the hero, uh, or you need to spend 10 of them to swap a hero out. Like for example, right here, I actually, I don't think I can pick any of them, but essentially what you do is you just swap them to a normal version, which is why we even have all these heroes in the first place, because I've used them at some point, the Eos, the Elena's, all of them been used before, but we're just swapping them in and out. It takes 10 soul symbols, which is still a premium because that's basically two loops of either what a profit orb event or a heroic scroll event. There's really no other ways to get them anymore. You used to be able to purchase like 10 of them in a pack way back in the day but that was before they redid everything now this is the only way to do it the problem with that again is you have to rebuild everything the time it takes to reset up your hero to put all the stellar shards in to go through all the different nodes and upgrade oh, that's the one of the most annoying parts like void doing this part right here tedious 
tedious. Luckily, there's a quick upgrade button, but that's only one per node. It gets even more tedious when you get into the tree and you have to put in what? Five puppets total. You have to upgrade puppet, upgrade puppet, upgrade puppet, upgrade puppet. It gets really, really tedious. And if any of you guys have gone through like we did way back when it first came out and did all these glory challenges, this was one of the most tedious tasks I've ever had. It literally gave me anxiety knowing the amount of clicks I still had to do to finish it out to get all of the spiritual essence and the stellar shards. It was probably one of the most stressful anxiety riddled video I have ever done in Idle Heroes. Now, talking about that whole thing of rebuilding all these heroes, it really pisses me off at this point because if we take a look at our Destiny Transition heroes, they literally added into the game a nice little button here that says all materials will be returned after the regression. Confirm regressing the Destiny Transition. Soul symbols needed, 10. Why can't we get that for Tree of Origin? Like, keep it at 10. I don't care. Keep it at 10. I'm fine with it being at 10. It just blows my mind that they realize that something like this is an issue, but then they don't do it for the tree. Like, they're, where, where, where's the reset button? Why is there not a reset button to just reset the tree back to zero where the tree is still locked? In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I actually don't know if I have the stellar shards right now. I don't have it to actually show you. Um, we have a V4 hero on any of these that, are, oh, actually, yeah, we do. Uh, oh God, we've actually started upgrading her tree. That's a mistake, didn't mean to do that. Uh, but as you guys can see, the tedium of doing something like this is pretty annoying. I actually, <laughs> I didn't even realize. Um, sure, uh, but when you first get into this, when you go to unlock the tree here, again, I don't think there's even a single hero with enough stellar shards to unlock it. Yeah, because normally what we do is we just do V3 plus with the attack node. That way we get the max attack on our hero. But again, why can't we just reset it? It's just, it seems like an idiotic thing to not include in the game. And it can't take that much longer to literally copy this button and paste it right here. We have a reset button here. We have a reset button here. Why do we not have a reset button at this day and age for the tree of origin. And again, the only reason why it kind of pisses me off at this point is because we literally have it for the newest version. And there's gotta be, I mean, I'm sure there's like some technical reason in the background, the way something's coded, the way something happens. I'm just so tired. The reason why I don't change my account up much anymore, I, I mean, I have the soul symbols. That's not the problem. I don't wanna take an hour reconfiguring my whole account just to support a different hero, which is why, as as optimal as it would be probably to pump even more resources into Lord of Fear Aspen, at this point, I really just don't want to do it because the tedium to then regress it for something else, because you guys know Void Campaign 6 will be coming out soon. I'm going to need my Doom Terminator Vulcan being one of my strongest. Eventually, I'm going to have to turn our Star Swords and Machman away from being just a tenant holder or a tenant on a household holder to a main damage dealer again. There's just so many things that are going to have to happen. I'm starting to get anxiety playing the game, thinking about all the changes I have to make. They need to make changes easier. In reality, I wish they would drop the 10 soul symbols down even lower. Like, I think that's, it's just too much nowadays. If people want to switch stuff around, like whales can't even switch as much as they want to unless they do every single event. And still then, you might be at too much because you can remember, even these heroes down here, if you're gonna convert like just a regular E5 hero, it still costs five of them pretty premium so I, I don't know why they haven't implemented it i just had to get that topic off my chest because today i was thinking about doing something like why does this button exist but it doesn't exist here i don't get it hopefully you guys enjoy this one i just i i little venting for me you guys know i'm not too negative most of the time until something really just it just gets me it gets me every time hopefully you guys enjoy this one i love to hear your feedback in the comments down below see you guys next time